In this video, we are going to talk about the advantages and disadvantages of enteral root, including oral root, rectal root, and sublingual root. First, we'll talk about the oral route of administration. Main advantages of oral route of administration includes the convenience of this route, it is cost effective, it is relatively safe, and the desired therapeutic concentration is achieved gradually. The disadvantages of oral route of administration includes the low bioavailability following the first pass metabolism by the liver. Also, there is difficulty in adjusting the plasma concentration. This route requires a functional GI tract and also requires the compliance of the patients. If we talk about the rectal route of administration, the main advantage it includes is its use in the patient who is vomiting. It can also be used well in the patients who are unconscious. There is a limited first pass metabolism and this route is relatively painless and it is well tolerated in children. The disadvantages of the rectal route of administration. This route is not well accepted. There is irregular absorption that can compromise the safety as well and it may cause the irritation of rectal mucosa. Next route is the sublingual route of administration. Main advantages of this route is its rapid absorption. This route avoids the first pass metabolism by liver as well. Main disadvantages of sublingual route includes its usefulness for, for only small amount of drugs and this route requires prolonged contact with the mucosa. Also, there, there are some taste issues as well because there could be some unpleasant taste while using these drugs. So that's it. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thumbs up.